Hello lovelies. In today's video we are looking at what a valence electron is and how we can use the periodic table to find them. Before we begin we need to review energy levels because they are super important to understanding valence electrons. So remember electrons are arranged in levels within the electron cloud. The electron cloud is the space outside of the nucleus where electrons orbit. However, the electrons are actually somewhat organized into these things called energy levels. You'll also see them called orbitals and shells, so make sure you know those terms. Specific numbers of electrons fit into each energy level. They're organized into the, each of these levels. The first energy level can hold up to two electrons. If the atom has more than two electrons, it spills over into the other energy levels, and as each energy level fills up, it the electrons just go to the next one. So all the the second and or the uh, second and third energy levels can hold up to eight each. So what is a valence electron? Well, a valence electron is not an extra electron. It's just the what the electrons in the outermost energy level are called. The electrons in the outermost energy level, how, whatever level number that may be for the atom, are called valence electrons. So this atom here has four valence electrons. So of its six total electrons, four are considered valence because they're in the outermost energy level. Valence electrons are really important because they're involved in forming chemical bonds with other atoms. Now we're not going over that in today's video, but you will learn about it eventually. So let's practice just identifying a valence electron. Look at this image right here. How many valence electrons does this atom have? If you said one, you're correct. This atom has one valence electron because in the outermost ring, the outermost energy level, there's only one electron there. How many valence electrons does this atom have? If you said seven, you got it right again. Um, of the nine valence electrons that this atom, fluorine, has, seven of them are valence because seven of them are in the outermost energy level. So how do you find valence electrons? Well, you look at the groups on the periodic table. The group number on the periodic table tells you how many valence electrons the elements in the group have. Groups one and two, it's the same as the group number. So group one, all of the elements in group one have one valence electron. All of the elements in group two have two valence electrons. Groups 13 through 18 are a little bit different. So group 13, we're skipping all the way over here. We are gonna ignore these middle groups and the transition metals down here. Um, those have special rules that we're not going to cover in this video. So in group 13 through 18, it's a little special. These um, elements in these groups have their number of valence electrons is the group number minus 10. So group 13 has three valence electrons, 13 minus 10 is three. Group 14, all of these elements have four valence electrons. Group 15 has five valence electrons. Group 16 has six and so on. So let's practice this. How many valence electrons does this atom, or this element, carbon, have? Carbon has four valence electrons because it's in group 14. That also means that everything in group 14, all the other elements have um, only four valence electrons as well because they, it's all the same, they're all in the same group. So silicone, germanium, tin, lead, those all have four valence electrons too. How many valence electrons does this element have. Rubidium has one valence electron because it's in group one, just like hydrogen, lithium, sodium, potassium, cesium. These all have one valence electrons, electron as well because they're in the same group. Well, what about this one, helium? Even though this element is in group 18, it only has two valence electrons because it only has two electrons to begin with. I wanted to point this one out because it is a special circumstance. However, everything else in group 18 has eight valence electrons, neon, argon, krypton, um, and it's because it's in group 18. Now what you can do is you can kind of go back and forth and you can use an atom to identify what element it is on the periodic table just by looking at the, at the valence electrons. So let's practice. What group does this atom belong to? This atom belongs to group 17 
because it has seven valence electrons. Last one, what group does this atom belong to? If you said group one, you got it right because it only has one valence electron. If you have any questions or if you need a refresher, make sure to go back through this video or contact your teacher for more help. See you later, guys.